You realize, out of sheer embarrassment, I'm gonna have to hurt you. <laughs> After what I just saw, totally worth it. <laughs> right here. Hi, Faceless here, and what happens when you have a comedic duel, drug dealers, gang members, and a small kitten? Well, you get... Keanu. It's a comedy starring Peel and Key, and let me tell you guys, if you're a fan of these fellas, then you'll probably like this movie. Peel's character, Rel, just had his girlfriend break up with him because he's your basic deadbeat guy that's lazy and just sits around and smokes weed all day. We find him crying and all depressed, but that changes when the small kitten comes to his doorstep. I mean, look at him. How can you say no? Kitty, 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 kitty. <clears throat> moving on. Thanks to this newfound attachment, Rel pretty much gets his life back on track. Meanwhile, his cousin Clarence, played by Key, is going to be alone for the weekend to pretty much work on himself. He is seen as pretty much a pushover, and kinda has an unhealthy obsession with George Michael. Anyway, both the cousins decide to go to the movies, but when they return to Rail's apartment, they find out it was broken into and Keanu's been kidnapped. Or is that catnapped? Rail finds out from his neighbor slash drug dealer that the little kitty was taken by a drug lord named Cheddar, played by Method Man. Doing whatever it takes to get his little furball back, the guys go to the gang's base of operations and play out as two notorious gangbangers from Allentown. And that's really where the fun and the comedy of this film starts. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've only seen a few clips of Peel and Key on the internet, and I won't go as far as saying I'm a fan. But when they go gangster mode, especially Key, it had me laughing. Now there were some jokes that really didn't land that well, but the ones that do land, oh boy do they land good. I think what really does it for me is the way these two guys portray themselves is, is just really hilarious. Throughout the movie, the shots were great when it came to the action, and it had my attention. No overuse of shaky cam or slow motion, which has been kind of a stigma for the action genre. And even though this movie was about recovering a missing cat, it did have that 90s gangster feel like New Jack City or Boys in the Hood. Folks, if you've seen the trailer, then you know the general premise of the film. But there were other things that were going on in the plot that meshed really well, and to my surprise, I enjoyed it. And to be really honest, before going into this film, I thought this was going to be another silly comedy movie. But in the end, it proved me wrong, so my final rating is a C. But if nothing else, if you're not a fan of Peel and Key, how can you say no to this? Oh, kitty, 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 kitty. Well, this wraps up this episode. If you have any thoughts or opinions, please share them in the comments below. You can also find my previous videos on peanutbutterdisaster.com, where there are other producers and their content, so check them out. And if you hadn't done so yet, hit the subscribe button below for more upcoming reviews. But until then, this is Faceless, signing off. Peanut butter disaster. <laughs>